You know, television's a wonderful medium, but you can't beat radio sometimes. Just look at this. Look, you see? www.bnradio.co.za. That's a streaming radio station here in South Africa. You can hear good music, good interviews, and a little bit of news, but mostly we entertain. I started off in the broking business uh, with a firm called Simpson McKee and Simpson McKee was bought out by HSBC uh, which subsequently uh, formed part of Investec in South Africa. In 2003 I went to uh, live in Australia, I lived in Sydney for eight, for eight years, I worked for Goldman Sachs for five of those years and Macquarie Bank uh, for about three of those years. I uh, returned back to South Africa approximately 12 months ago and uh, and I was approached to, to come to Sassman. Well, I think, uh, you know, I think it's a, it's a dynamic, it's, it's a very dynamic place. It's an entrepreneurial culture, South Africa. And I think the, you know, I, I think we're going to continue to grow, um, provided, you know, provided we can address some of the issues that, that we're facing. Um, you know, one thing that struck me coming back um, is, you know, is how positive people actually are. Um, in terms of in terms of the growth and in terms of the opportunity and in terms of being that springboard um, you know, into the rest of Africa and I think if, if we can harness that and we can you know work at that the, the country the country's got a great it's got a great future I mean we just saw today that uh, you know the Chinese of uh, you know, the Chinese government are looking to invest 20 billion rand uh, 20 billion dollars into this into the continent um, we've got a huge we've got a huge you know, we, we, we've got a huge advantage um, in that um, we are a stable, we're a stable economy. Um, we're, a, we're a relatively stable African country. And if we can, you know, if you, if you see the growth that the likes of the MTNs have had, Australia's got a really small, a really small base. You know, there's 20 million people in Australia. Um, you know, so you look at, you look at the likes of uh, the Telstras and the Optuses in Australia, they've got, what, two million subscribers, I suppose, yeah. and then you look at MTN and it's got 180 million subscribers. So there's a huge opportunity and the companies that are doing, that are doing this right, um, you know, are really, are just really going to make huge inroads into Africa. Well, <clears throat> in, ter in terms of the brain drain, I mean, I, I left literally 10 years ago and I came back a year ago. So I, you know, when I think, I think we've got to, we've got to get certain things such as crime and we've got to get, you know, we've got, the, we've got to get the crime under control, unemployment under control, but also we need to market ourselves a bit better. We need to actually get out there and show people that um, you know this country is still growing and there's still great opportunity. Um, a lot of you know a lot of uh, you know a lot of my colleagues who who are in Australia, a lot of them who in the UK would love to come back, but they're just concerned about those few things. They're concerned about education. They're concerned about healthcare. They're concerned about their safety. So those are the, those are the key. Those are the key issues. You know, the opportunity is here. One of my one of my big things is what you look at. You look at you look at this country, and you think the reason why there is so much potential is because there is a bit of risk. If a place has been completely de-risked, there isn't much opportunity. And I think and I think that's and I think that's what we that's what that's what we're starting to see. That's what, that's what people are starting to understand that uh, if there's no risk, there's no return.